Now that is the way to start. Hey, this week we're in northern Manitoba at my favorite place, Dunlop Lodge and Outpost. We're gonna, we are faced with a severe cold front, but sometimes you just gotta work through it. You're gonna see what happens. You're gonna be right with us in the boat. This could be exciting, it will be, and this is Hook and Hunt TV. South I 55. We're gonna take a little scenic drive. And down in a state 49. We're just looking for a good time. Better buy another case of beer. Cause you know you're gonna need it here. Time to go. Yeah, we're gonna start the show. Hey, when we're on the road, we are officially hauled by Illinois Trailer Sales. Hitch up with them at IllinoisTrailerSales.com. Prairie Grove Shotgun Sports, Columbia, Missouri's premier shooting facility to improve your skills with the widest range of disciplines in the Midwest. Shooting fun for the entire family. The official clay crushing club of Hook and Hunt TV. <laughs> that is 49 degree water. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I had to get that fish bowling two or three times. Two or three times, I just sit that glide bait, that sub walk down there, just so it would get it. Cold fronts like this can be so picky with these fish. I'll tell you what, no matter how aggressive pike are, they, uh, when you have a big cold front like this, there you go, when you have a big cold front like this, they still get picky. Put this girl back. Let me uh, tell you something what, with what we're faced here. Usually this time of year, in early June, these fish are in the bays. But you can fish them there all you want, and when a cold front comes in and drops the water temperature as severely as it did in the last three days, they're not going to be there. So you have to adjust. So what we're doing now is moving out to rocky banks that are adjacent to those spawning bays and just fishing baits like jerk baits and sub walks which is a glide bait and you have to take your time you just have to fish through it there's no other way else you can do it but if you take your time and throw baits just like that we'll go over some of those with you later and show you more in depth about them your chances for success well they're going to be better than if you stayed in the baits i've been traveling to dunlop's lodge and outpost for years a short flight from thompson manitoba your adventure begins as soon as you board the plane. The view from your window instantly leaves your worries and troubles behind. Lakes, rivers, and the wide open countryside that is northern Manitoba are what encompass your panoramic view. It won't be long and the main lodge appears. Now you realize that with no roads in or out, Dunlops is accessible by very few. Known for their trophy pike as well as incredible walleye fishing, you land on Dunlop's private airstrip. Every guest, and I mean every guest, is greeted by owner Jerry Dunlop himself. Your luggage is taken to your cabin and you head to the main lodge for breakfast. With a comfortable family style setting, the main lodge provides not only fine dining, but extras, including fishing tackle, sunscreen, bug repellent, and assorted apparel, just in case you left something at home. Chef prepared meals and desserts start and end your day with a smile. Hey, let's get back to the fishing. Oh, he's not bad. No, nice fish, Jerry. There you go. Right off the rocks here outside the yep. bay. Well, with that cold front coming through like this, those fish are going to move out of the bays. And uh, another good fish, though. Right. And they don't give up yet. He wasn't sluggish, though. He hit it hard. Oh, he hit it hard, yeah. I saw your rod double over right away. What's the water temperature now anyway? It's probably close to 50, isn't it? Yeah. 
it's just under 50. And when they're in those bays, that's about the magical temperature, isn't it, for this time of year, for early like this? Yeah, right after ice out, the water is, you know, just low 40s, right? Yeah. As soon as you can see it climbing, as soon as it hits that 50 range, the bays just light up. Yeah. Nice fish, man. People ask me why I use Jeb's chokes on all my shotguns. Huh, let me think about that. For your own world record setting performance, use the same choke tubes we do, and you will be as successful as we are. Bite Me Sport Fishing, Venice, Louisiana's premier fishing experience. Tuna, redfish, snapper, sharks, and more. Fish in comfort from their 29-foot Triton offshore fishing machine. The adventure of your lifetime starts now. Call 877-904-TUNA or hook up with them at BiteMeSportFishingVenice.com. And why haven't you booked a trip with Bite Me Sport Fishing? Yeah, better. Kill him, kill him. Good. Nice, nice shot, boys. Spectre Shot, colored ammunition. Know who got him, take him with Spectre Shot. Oh man, he hit that, hammered on that jerk bait. Nice fish there. Oh, that is always fun. <laughs> that storm flat stick has caught me more fish. He's barely hooked, but still very cool. Very, very cool. There's a bunch of suckers hanging around here, and we're uh, we're in these rapids. There's actually another pike about the same size with him. It's okay if he gets off now. Beautiful fish though. But I take this and I use it like a jerk bag. We did it a lot last year. And uh, when it when we do it, come on buddy. When, uh, when you do it and you pause that bait like that, it can really work really, really good. Let's see if I'll just get you here. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nice fish. And barbless hooks like that come out. Beautiful fish. Nice and easy release. What we got right here is, uh, and Jerry's got a fish on right here. Um, what we're doing is there's a bunch of suckers in this current. So we're taking a jerk bait and then Jerry's throwing back a black fly at him. And some of these fish are just ganging up in this area. He's got another one on now. This is, this is cool. This one here, I just put it right down on the mud. I didn't move, I didn't move it. He was, just, he was nose diving it. As soon as I twitched it, he... There was two the size of that one I just caught, and they came up together on it. Another big fish just swirled right out here. That was oh, cool. a good walleye, oh man. Check out that on that flat stick, baby. Now that's a walleye. Thank you, walleye's bigger Look at this, bite. got another one. Holy cow. I'll tell you what, man. I'm gonna need the pliers on that. Hey, you can throw pike baits and catch walleyes like that, you need to come to Dunlops. <laughs> awesome. And now it's time for your Nord Outdoor Power Tip of the Week. Hi, this is Doug with Nord Outdoor Power. Hey, real quick, want to talk to you about oil for your chainsaw bar. It's absolutely critical to the life of the chain and the bar. What you're going to want to do is make sure that every time you refill the gas, make sure and refill the bar oil. Now, you can always check and see if your machine is oiling properly by taking and just revving the engine while you're pointing the bar at a stump or something like that that'll throw the oil off. Make sure you kind of see a line coming out because you want to make sure it's getting good oil. You're also going to find that there's and steel has like a winter grade oil that flows better when it gets real cold out. But make sure and use a high quality bar oil to make these things last as long as possible. And that was your Nord Outdoor Power Tip of the Week. Hook up with our outdoor power source at nordpower.com. Friends and family, feathers and fins, Northwest Ontario's number one destination for walleye, muskie, northern and bass. You can't do it better than fin and feather. Throwing these jerk baits for pike. The gliding wrap, look at the size of this walleye. Oh my goodness. Look at this. So windy out here today after the big cold front we had. Look at that, man. You talk about, when you come up here to Dunlops, I'll tell you what, not only do you get big pike, this is pretty far north, and you look at the size, and I'll, I'll tell you what, you look at the size of these walleyes that we're catching today, and this is not the first one, but look at the size of it. That's good anywhere, 
says walleyes don't hit big baits. That's crazy, man. That's just absolutely crazy. You get here, you catch big pike and big walleye. That's awesome. That's just awesome. We had a pretty severe cold front go through. Three days of a northeasterly wind, and it knocked those big pike right out of the base. You know what? Said it earlier, but you can't you can't catch fish where they're not. So we had to adjust. A lot of the bigger fish we feel went off in the deeper water and just suspended. Those are really tough to catch. So with only a couple days of fishing, you got to make the best of it. So the fish that we caught, here are the lures that we use, and I want to go over a little bit about each one of them for you. On a cold front, I always like to add a little bit of color in there, something, another triggering aspect to help get those fish to bite. So, without question, your Vibrex number sixes with some color in them, red, chartreuse, those always seem to get some bites. Northland Forge Middle Spoon, always been a favorite of mine for the years, over the years, and I'll tell you what, between the pink, green, blue, and the silver, puts off a nice flash in the water, and again, generated some strikes. Our go-to bait over the years has always been the Storm Flat Stick. And this gold walleye color right here has caught me a lot of big pike. Another big bait that has, probably since 2009 when we came out with it, is the Rapala Subwalk. And this was brand new, day before yesterday, and it's got a ton of teeth marks on it. This bait is one of my favorites when things are tough. Why? Because you have a side-to-side -side walk the dog motion with the suspending action and you can literally keep the bait in front of the fish's face for a longer period of time. Today I literally let that bait sit there for four, five, six seconds, barely twitched it and that's when I got a lot of strikes. This side-to-side -side motion of this bait can really trigger those strikes when times are tough and right now times are tough but you know what you got to make the best of it because when a cold front happens to you and sometime it will there should be some options that will put a couple extra fish in the boat for you we still got some more action and we're still going to go back after them let's get back to the show we might have one more but nice broad fish no it's still got a little still got a little come on baby if you get that cradle deep in the water i'll lift it in there okay i'll lift them up okay and we got him. Nice fish, man. Really good. Oh, oh look how broad that is. Man, he's a beautiful fish. I'll tell you what, folks, we've been fighting all day with these, but I want to thank Jerry Dunlop. I'll tell you what, if you have not been to Dunlop, this is absolutely an incredible place to catch that trophy fish of a lifetime. You can easily find them at DunlopFishing.com or go to Hook and Hunt TV. You'll see them right there on our main page. There you go, buddy. Awesome. Hey, I'm Jim Crowley for Jerry Dunlop. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being with us. God bless you. We'll see you next week. So bring okay, it up. Let's see that, that stick. Wow. That Let me zoom key. in on that. That is a, that's a monster. That's a sweet stick, Jimmy. You want me to get a measurement on it? Uh, you want to get a measurement? Yeah, the girth's not going to be much, but Man. I'm telling you, it's impressive. That's a sweet one. <laughs> what do you think that is, Willow? Yeah, I think. Yeah. I haven't colored them in a while.